You see, that looks so pretty. We are making fizzy Olympic rings, and to start with that, we need to make a baking soda paste, which is baking soda and water. Does it remind you of slime, Janae? This is cool. Whoa! Are your hands getting all messy? You kind of like it, don't you? Do you guys see how that fizzes? Whoa! That's cool. Yes! It feels so nice. Oh. No. Woohoo! I can mix it up and play with it. You can mix it up and play with it. <gasps> you see, that looks so pretty. Now it's a volcano. <laughs> a volcano of happiness. Does not matter how old you are, baking soda and vinegar is fun. Now she's ready to go to town. Ooh, that was a good one. You're like a mad scientist. I'm just gonna put it everywhere. That's the idea. Let's get messy. We're getting ready for the next thing. What could it possibly be? Break dancing. Break dancing. Welcome to summer camp breaking session. Now we're learning about a new Olympic sport, which is breaking. Break dancing, and I have the coolest friends ever. Janae Walters, I yeah, love it. I like it. Janae Walters. The kids are choosing a persona for breaking. They're creating their name and their pose. All right, and we have B girl, Laura Fletcher. Ooh, backlash, Laura, nice, love it. We got Miss Elise, the hash slinger. Oh, Elise. The bulb. They're learning some breaking moves, starting with the three step. You like it? Nice. Offering. Yeah. It's Laura. This afternoon we're spending some time learning about the Paralympics and the Special Olympics organizations. And I just love those organizations. I got to go to the Paralympic opening ceremonies back in 2002. And I've just always had a tender spot in my heart for these courageous, inspiring athletes. Did you guys notice some of the prosthetics that people had? Um, prosthetics is like if you lost a leg, it's something that's fit onto there to function like a leg in someone else, goodness, possibility, when maybe in the past you'd seen something different, that's no longer a person with a disability, it's a point guard. And all of a sudden our hearts open to some basic human value I think is quite powerful. So the kids are writing notes of encouragement to the special Olympian athletes that are in our town. These are gonna go to people right here in Kansas City. Think about what you would want to do to say to you to encourage you as you are going out to compete.
He's starting with chicken and a hen now. Lovers leave! The final two! We are a sunscreen factory. Yeah. We're doing the potato relay race. Jade is going to show us. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> now, if it falls, what happens? You have to go back and start over. Turn around and squat over it. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. Get a potato. Oh, oh no! You gotta go back. You gotta go back. Slow potato! We cannot even see the potato! Oh dear! Oh dear! One potato down! Whoa! Oh! Good job, Garrett! Good job, Garrett! Go, Lisey! Oh dear, with the sound effect, here's what's up next. And whoever gets the most Cheerios at the end of the time wins. These are too small for me. <laughs> oh, underhand. All right. For my head, not my face. <laughs> Five, four, three, yes, yes. two, no. one, stop. Two. One, two, two three. three. What's the number? Next up is something to do with ice. I actually have no idea what his plans are. And you take a cup of ice water and you dump it on your head. Oh then you run back. And whichever team is last gets all together and I dump the rest of the bucket on your head. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Gonna get dumped on. Oh. Okay, we're just watching today. Look at her go. No, you're supposed to dump it on your head. <laughs> oh, she's doing it. Go! Toss. Is it a secret? Lydia. So the kids are designing Olympic medals on paper first and then making them with all sorts of different mediums. We've got air dry clay, cardboard, stickers, glitter. J 
Janae's making her metal on the top of a mason jar and she's using stickers. Nice work. A baby and a mama. A baby and a mama star. That looks really nice. Thanks for letting her watch you and learn from you. Oh, Laura, that is looking yeah. good. All right, Laura's done. Go put it on the table to dry and then we will spray paint it later. Put that glue all around and then we're gonna put glitter on it. Let's go see what colors there are. Janae's ready for glitter, which is an outdoor, adult supervised activity. Gold, silver, or bronze? Which one would you like yours to be? Silver? Oh, look at that spread glitter. It out. Does that look good? Never have too much glitter. Now, I'm gonna take it. making hers come to life. That is so clever the way you did that. Caleb was lured back in by the glitter. How did you do you that? You write your name on the that back. That is so it pretty. The C A F stands for the Olympic motto. Sidious Altius Fortius. Oh my goodness. So much glitter. You did great. Today we're back in modern times and we're discussing how the modern Olympic Games came to be and the differences and similarities between the modern Olympics and the ancient Olympics. Pierre de Coubertin? I have no idea. He is French. 1896, he revived them and therefore he's become known as the father of the Olympics. So here's our Venn diagram. We're sorting things that are modern Olympics, okay. ancient Olympics, and things that are the same. Olympics? were connected to religion. Laura, was that part of the ancient Olympics that the Olympics was part of religion or the modern means now Olympics? Which one or both of them? I think this one. Yeah, yeah that's right, good job. Olympic Games have 42 events. Ooh, where did I that I feel go? like modern has more than that, but I know ancient didn't have that. Very good. Modern. Modern. So, modern Olympics held in Greece. Ancient? I think that's both. Yep, the first modern Olympics and the first ancient Olympics. Where were they held? Greece. Very good. And they were nice. both held in Greece. For a snack, my friend found the coolest Oreos. They're like Olympic <laughs> USA Oreos. Wait, Look, it's got the American flag and the rings on it, and they're red, white, and blue. And it says it has popping candy. This is amazing. Can you taste the popping candy inside of it? That's what that is? Yeah. It tastes amazing. Snacking on the Oreos. Of gymnastics. Well, the queen has definitely spoken. <laughs> she has won a lot of gold medals. So I'm focusing on five of the U.S. sprinters. We in the pack is no alive. We're from the 2019 World Athletics Championship. Good night. Do yourself. The time machine.